So, welcome to my first watch video. Now, before we get into this, I want to say that some people are like, why do you collect watches now with smart watches and all that? Why do you still go around wearing a watch? Well, why don't you get out of my business first? You do what you do, and I'll do what I do. But another, a better reason is that I don't even like having a phone, really. Sometimes having a phone is just a hassle. So imagine having a phone on my wrist. I don't want to do that. And a watch to me is just to tell the time and for fashion. That's it. Now, I know that right now on online there's a lot of hate going on about Invictus. And this is a crap watch. Why don't you just buy a Rolex if you have so many watches? And blah, 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 blah. Now, I know. All the money that I've spent on watches, I could have bought a Rolex by now. But, I would only have one. Or, you know, one Rolex. So, what kind of a douche wears a Rolex to go to the store? Or, to go training to the gym? You know? So, if I have one Rolex to wear... What the hell am I, you know, what good does that do me? So, I like to have a watch for training, for going out. I wouldn't mind a Rolex. I'll take it. But I would only wear that watch on special occasions. So, you know, I have 30, 40 watches. I could pick colors, you know, material. There's ceramic watches. There's titanium watches. There's automatic watches, there's Swiss made watches, there's Japanese movement watches. One thing I just try and stay clear of is like, anytime I read that it's from China or Malaysia or Ethiopia or whatever, then I'll try and stay away from that, you know? But once you spend more than $100 on a watch, it's not about time anymore. It doesn't, it's, it's about the statement you're making with the watch. Anyways. So this right here is a Sub Aqua Noma 3 from Invicta. Swiss made chronograph watch. I'll get into the details right now. But I've had this watch maybe about three or four years. I've never changed the battery it still runs uh, it's never given me any problems I wear it sparingly I wear it every every when I go out sometimes or you know but I don't wear this watch a lot but right now I'll show you all the details of the watch and then my final thoughts all right guys so here's the watch as I said, it is a Sub Aqua Noma 3. Um, you can see down here, Swiss made. It is a 50 millimeter to 19 millimeter thickness. It has a rotating bezel. A pusher clasp. Uh, I think this is a flame fusion crystal, so it's real scratch resistant, but I don't use this a lot, and, and when I do, it's only to go out, so I, I don't think it's going to get scratched up or anything like that. I like the design on the bracelet. It's a deployant clasp. Weighs about 12 ounces. I, I've learned a lot, you know, collecting watches. And what I learned is when I was bigger, more than 50 millimeter, like 52, 54 was fine. But now I, I learned that 50 is the limit. 
If it's more than 50, it's way too big. And it just looks ugly. Well, for me, you know, everybody has their preferences. You know, if you like big watch, that's your thing, fine. But I'll only go up to 50 and not too thick because it looks really awkward for me. So, um, what else can I say? I mean, it's a really nice watch. I think this cost me about more than three bills, easily. There's the back. You got the sub-aquanoma dragon. And there it says, too, it's engraved Swiss made. And, you know, you could find out if it's Swiss made and it says it's Swiss made, it has to be Swiss made. But it could be, you could have the same sub Aquanoma 3, but it won't say Swiss made. And it's probably from Malaysia or wherever the hell they get their watches made. So you just got to make sure that, you know, you have it on the watch. And I think that's the problem they're having right now is that they, they, they've made some of these that aren't Swiss made anymore for some reason. But they still charge about the same, like two bills. And I, I just make sure that, that, you know, mine are Swiss made. But, like I said, it's a really nice watch, silver face. I like silver watches. I, I don't really like gold a lot, but I do have some. But I like silver better. But, all right, guys. All right, so that was a close-up of the watch. The specs, um, pretty much on watches, I'm going to be having some unboxings, more watches from my collection, and the reasons, different reasons why I still use a watch, and some, you know, other things. But, thanks for watching. Later.